we brought the Mercial Argo and myself to a Drive Tribe event where actually Richard Hammond's going to walk around the car and inspect it for himself. We all know that he's got the smallest car, which restores pretty old classic cars, but I don't know how he's going to think about my Mercial Largo, the one that I've restored in a shed in Leicester. So let's see how it goes. Maybe you like the wheels actually. I think I do. <laughs> They're extraordinary. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's very green. It is quite green. Yeah. But green cars are the way forward. Okay. So I didn't put you as a Lamborghini man. I feel like you're more of a Porsche guy. Um. <laughs> I actually, no, I am a Lamborghini man for the sense of humour and fun. I love the flamboyance. Okay, yeah. The, it's exactly why I like them. It's because where, where Porsche is, well, I told you before, when we used to do, we'd have a triple test on yeah. the old show. So we'd have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari and a Porsche lined up to test. We'd maybe have them for a week. Yeah. And they'd deliver them. The Ferrari would arrive, and it, it, it never had much in common with the Ferrari you'd actually buy, as far as I could work out. <laughs> well, it seemed like it. Then Lamborghini would turn up, hi, and I'd say, so how many horsepower has it got? How many horsepower has the Ferrari got? <laughs> it's got 500. It has 525. <laughs> Just <laughs> Porsche would then say, right, there's your car. Um, what, is that it? Yeah, fine, we'll pick it up in a week. And it'll always be slightly faster, slightly lighter. Yeah. Slightly See, I've got to agree with him on the, on the Porsche side because we, I do love them, but... But the fun and flamboyance, there's a Countach here in there, obviously, of course there is. Yeah. And uh, I was the archetypal, yeah, kid, bedroom wall, post with the Countach, you had to have one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're rubbish. <laughs> but they're breathtaking. I'm, I'm, I'm glad Lamborghinis exist, and your job, if you're lucky enough to own one, is to drive it around and treat all the rest of us to some pantomime. <laughs> There's your pantomime. That's exactly what that's exactly what this does. Um, but if you saw the state that this was in when we first got it, it was absolutely terrible. Like they were, we've done everything: engine rebuild, interiors done. We we did literally everything. Um, and there was a few things that we found as well, which weren't actually from a Lamborghini. And I don't know if you notice them as well because we found. A lot of the things when we've been rebuilding the car, we've had to find cheaper ways of rebuilding it, finding different parts because they're so hard to find for a Mercial Argo. Uh, for example, these uh, front side repeaters here are actually off a Ford Focus I was, I was gonna, Mark I was going to see if I could guess. I wouldn't have guessed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Does Lamborghini have a long history of that? And is it any small volume manufacturer? The thing is what baffled us is that the indicators from Lamborghini were a fortune. They're like £300, but... Yeah. I think these were... Oh, wait a minute, they're in set. Yeah, 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 they're actually, they're actually in set, but on the Ford Focus Mark 1, they're like, I think they were like the other way round. Oh, that is, so that is the same part? That is exactly because the same part. Yeah, we bought a one because we changed them from amber to clear, but I just bought Ford Focus Mark 1 indicators. The moment when you spotted that they would fit, <laughs> how pleased were you? Oh, it was, it, I only noticed it when I was cleaning the car. I was cleaning the car and there was a Ford logo stamped on the on the indicator <laughs> and i was like no way no. so that was that was one thing tight is that yeah. this is really tight yeah we actually was gonna we've been around the nurburgring with it and uh around the carousel it's really tight the brakes are terrible did you think i wouldn't like this i did yeah yeah this is quite interesting actually because first thing hammond said when he's seeing the car is that he loves the wheels i love them they're tactile they're yeah. um they feel made Yes, they, they're not cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap. No, but they are, they are special. I love those. And, and I think it just makes it stand out a little bit differently. It, it puts my own up. And that's a bright green Lamborghini, you yeah, killer. That's true, that's oh, true. yeah, because otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed it. It's only the wheels that drew my attention to the massive green Lambo as I approached. Another thing we found out, the headlights were really foggy on the inside and we wanted to restore them. <laughs> old Ducatis, <laughs> yeah. old Lambos, they're just what Everything. they do. Yeah. And uh, so we tried to split them open. And then we realised the lenses were glass and uh, me with a screwdriver and a, and a bit of heat started to break the glass. Oh yeah. dear. And it was yeah. only £10,000 per headlight from Lambo. Holy <laughs> Yeah. Ah, and you had to... No, no, no. Now we have, exactly now we have three hundred pound plastic oh, nice. lights, which is a much better idea because when it breaks, 
That's it. I mean, it turns out to be exactly the same. They're from Poland and uh, yeah, they make them for the race cars. So it the same as a rear quarter light and a Morris Marine? <laughs> <laughs> it could well be. It could well be. And if it was glass, that could have saved us a lot of money. What have you got on your steering wheel? I, I don't know. So I, somebody's put that there. <laughs> <laughs> steering wheel wearing a head. Yeah, it looks like it's working in a bakery. I don't know why that's on there, to be <laughs> fair. It looks like it's going to serve me a pasty that it's just made and didn't want to get hairy. Now I'm getting rinsed for a hair. On my steering wheel. You've got a on your steering wheel, you fool. <laughs> and about the steering wheel, it's actually off a different car as well. And you might notice it, maybe. It's off a Japanese car. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. It's actually from an Evo. Oh, is a it? Mitsubishi Evo steering wheel. The only thing that's different is the airbag. Well, this is not from a, like a oh. micro or something. I mean, it's just something <laughs> fairly cool. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of cool, it, I guess. It's going to come from something Japanese. Yeah, it's something hot yeah. Japanese. Is it a Mercer Largo car that you'd drive is it something that like you'd enjoy or is it a, another lamborghini one of your choice other choices it's, it's not on every day but look at step back and have a look at it and we'll look everybody else is looking at it as well it's that that is a crowd pleaser i've always wanted a Mercer Largo. never thought i'd ever own one and then um to get it like cheaper than what the other ones were and to rebuild it now i know the inside out of it i still love it matt my filmer he now goes, now I know how Lamborghinis are made. I don't really like them. <laughs> this is a terrible car. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a look at this rebuilt engine? Yes, so the engine isn't the prettiest of uh, engines. And we keep having small issues with it, as you do with uh, Lamborghinis. Um, with anything, I don't know, Italian and complicated? That's come up. Yeah, so the Love interior it. was fully green. Green leather, green seats green dashboard it's every almost as though it was bought by a lamborghini buyer yeah he, oh yeah it was any box that said green he ticked it because that was it everything right. so we kind of dumbed down the green a little bit That's nice and went with alcantara the aircon controls this yeah um we found out this was out of a rover 25 <gasps> But it's also used in a Pagani, was it Herrera? Herrera? Huara. That's Huara. it. Exactly yeah. the same. Really? Uh, yeah. And 15 euros off eBay for one of these. But from Lamborghini, it's around three and a half thousand pounds. some point on Drive Tribe, we've got to do a pull together of all those least glamorous things in most glamorous <laughs> yes. things. Because we all know about you know, door mirrors and bits and pieces. But things like that, that oh, suddenly God. sounds a little less cool. But I quite like the fun. Yeah, that's it. You don't you don't really find out these things until you're desperate to find them, and you're like, we've got to find somewhere. I'm not spending this much money on an aircon unit or something like that. And we found so many things with it, but crap things in cool cars. That's what we're going to call it. Crap things in cool cars is coming your way soon. And now we have as well. Um, yeah, not on the bloody stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but also, probably the lowest mileage Lamborghini you'll ever see with only. 3,500 miles, definitely legitimate. No. <laughs> the, the definitely, if you just said legitimate, I'd have thought, yeah. But the slightly pleading look, definitely legitimate. <laughs> really? So we had to replace the clocks oh, right. because somebody, the previous owner, decided to jump start the car with the battery terminals the wrong way round and uh, it fried the clocks. So. We had to buy new clocks and that was a whole other ordeal, but now we can't get the mileage to go back to how it was. So now it's 3,500 legitimate it miles. What should it be? I think around, we, the last MOT was 77,000 miles. Holy hell, yeah. really? Yeah. So I'd be quite proud of that. That's yeah, amazing so for any supercar, that's I, cool. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's done some mileage and it's been mainly track mileage. That's where we got it from, like an ex-track experience yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. So it's been Easy life, been oh, yeah. treasured and looked after. Ruined. <laughs> Let's have a look at this lump. So it comes up very aggressively. Oh, oh wait, I just noticed something there. That's slightly disappointing. This is not very well damped, is it? My, my damping system <laughs> fell off. There's a rattle on it as well. <laughs> All so the engine so, dunk rattle. I don't know if you've noticed, but these hydraulic uh, things aren't off this car. Are they for lifting the car? They're obviously <laughs> they, yeah, little, I don't too know where they came from. But in the body shop, it. When they cooked it, they, they just they stopped working, so we nicked them off like a Passat oh, or something. Here's the engine. Yes, I can see that. It's um, a V12, it as you know. Yes. And every single thing we've done to it, and the nightmare we've had on building it was 
unreal. It's not the prettiest of things, but I don't think it ever really was. There's not really any cable management anywhere. It's just there. Is there anything unusual in the build of it, or is it just fiddly? Um, I mean, so, in terms of the throttle bodies, uh, over £1,100 each, which we didn't have, and second hand, they're £1,100. From Lamborghini, we couldn't even get them. They're actually off a of Volvo... Um, V70. V70, that was it. entirely glamorous sounding, No, isn't no. <laughs> Volvo V70 throttle bodies, uh, we found that. We found a bunch of other crazy stuff with the engine that we've had to do. I'm surprised it actually runs, but it's done really well. Like, it's done really well. <laughs> It always has a problem, we found out. It, but if you fix all the problems, it doesn't like that. So you have to have it with one problem. Maximum confidence in your work. I'm surprised it runs. Yeah. It says the man <laughs> <laughs> who built it. Yeah. Starting it was an ordeal, wasn't it? Yeah. So we had a subscriber start the car and uh, oh, it sounded like a Lamborghini tractor when we were starting. It was cranking, 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 but eventually it went, a lot of smoke and uh, it did eventually go, but amazing engine as always i've got to say i congratulate you on once again straightening out something that was beyond hope <laughs> um, and you haven't just, the joy the joy of doing a car like this it's a treat for anybody who sees it yeah it's what it's sunday morning it's a nice clear sunday morning you see and hear this howling past, oh, yeah. or parked by the side of the road in the cloud of steam um you still your day is my my day as a spectator as Johnny Punter wandering past, my day has been improved. So it's, you, <laughs> Exactly. You know, all these people you've done a favour for. See, their day has been brightened by the presence of this preposterous green thing. Every time I see it, it's brightened. Yeah. I mean, until, it, until it breaks down. But. Yeah, yeah, but you see, that, that's also quite good for all of us. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's bad for you, but again, you're doing, you're doing the world a favour by driving around in a pantomime. <laughs> that's it. Great. Well, I'm glad you like it, because I didn't think you'd be a Lamborghini man at all. Thought oh, I like the sense of fun, yeah. fun theatre pantomime mine because the, that end of the car world I enjoy as much as the next person. Do you own a supercar? No, no, no. I don't. I, the, at the last, I had uh, I had a Lamborghini Garda Spider, oh, nice. but I was driving it through Ross where I live about six months after I'd bought it with the roof down and I suddenly thought, I feel like a real knob. Yeah. I, li I just could see that was you all the time. Yeah. There's no way you're driving a Lamborghini or anything I like can't, that. I just can't do it. I have, I, that's the only sort of mid-engine super-ish that's not really a supercar I've ever had. I, I do get the... Like when I'm driving, and I'm like, why are people looking at me? Like I just want to drive from A to B, I but see it. Oops. <laughs> yes, that's that what is it is. It. It's not the Lambo. That's I what messed it, it up the whole time. It's the holes in my ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> 911. Nobody looks at the great 911. So yeah, I can, I can respect. We really want another Porsche. We yeah. did a GT3. It was the best thing yeah. I've ever driven. Like so refined. But we bought it in America and we had to sell it over there. But. If we ever find another one and then that'll be our next project. This is the moment where it gets embarrassing and it doesn't start, isn't it? <laughs> Are you gonna fire it up? Okay, it we're... I will not. Check it in neutral. Neutral? Of course, manual. We didn't even we didn't even say anything about the manual. Yes, yeah, so it is a manual. I did notice first the time. gate. First time. Perfect! Perfect. It has a little mind of its own, but I think that's the, the Volvo throttle bodies. Um, you'll a notice a, it has a bit of a rev, then a bit of a hunt, then but... And then it lets go and there's oil on the floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds quite smooth. It sounds like it should. At least we've heard it running now. And there's proof that we actually rebuilt an engine and it runs. To be clear, it's not running. That's just a soundtrack and they've got somebody with a vape behind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not running. That's just, he's playing that in off a speaker over there. <laughs> But this is what we're talking about with the... Uh, it is a bit, a bit of a play, isn't it? Has it? A bit of a hunt, yeah, until it gets warm. Um, I'm going to put that oh, down I to old age. I need more fuel, I need less fuel. I need yeah. more fuel. No, too much fuel. That's it. I feel sick. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I won't rev it because it's really cold. <laughs> I don't fancy picking up bearings. but oh, man, expensive. I'm glad you like it, Hammond. And, uh, oh, it's a pleasure to see you, and as always, good luck with your next project. But well done on this one. It's doing the world a favour. Thank you so much. Thanks for that. Thanks. Cheers. Could be your alpha, could be your Romeo. Tell them boys back up, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna fight that back up, put it on your story. So what your friends see, everyone can see.